The 2025 Mazda CX-70 is here, which is basically a two-row Mazda CX-90. What's good, guys? Welcome back to Ron's Rides. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another video where Mazda is doubling down on the mid-size SUVs with the 2025 CX-70, a shorter variant of the CX-90 with seating for five instead of seven. Now, the new SUV shares its platform powertrains and most of its bodywork with its larger sibling, meaning if you like the three-row, you'll probably like the two-row as well. Still, there are a few detailed differences between the Mazda midsizers. For starters, the CX-70 is styled with a little bit more sportiness in mind with greater use of gloss black than the chrome Latin CX-90. The grille gets a black mesh design in place of the CX-90's bright work and the front bumper is different with larger simulated grilles leading to the air curtain generators in the corners. Now, the rear bumper also gets a new design with fox vents in the corners and dark finishes appear on the mirror caps, door handles, and roof rails, and the available 21-inch wheels get gloss black pockets and machine faces. Now, the front end looks more aggressive and appealing. However, the CX-70 still has a rounded roof line, which doesn't sit quite right with the flowing bodywork and the triangular rear quarter windows. Now, there's a bit of 1990s Taurus in the decidedly avoid rear hatch, although the revised bumper design helps chisel out some of the visual verve. Now, inside, the CX-70 gets remarkably similar to the CX-90, at least before you realize there isn't a third row. Available red leather with a black accent stripe in the CX-70 is ex exclusive and joining the otherwise black interior with contrasting red stitching on the door panels and steering wheel. You get gray plastic trim with a printed carbon fiber motif that detracts from the otherwise excellent materials though. And hopefully we'll get a genuine wood trim as an option. Now, relative to the CX-90, the CX-70 has most of the same equipment, although it's the first Mazda to include Amazon Alexa integration in the infotainment system. It gives voice control to some onboard functions like climate controls and infotainment, and it also syncs up with Amazon compatible in-home equipment. Now, the CX-70 also features unresponsive driver support as a part of its adaptive cruise control and lane centering functionality. Now, the CX-70 also uses the same powertrains as the CX-90 with this turbocharged 3 3.3 liter inline six producing 280 horsepower, 332 pound feet of torque from the base model, or 340 horsepower, 369 pound feet as its high output S model. Now, a plug in hybrid powertrain is also available, making 323 horses and 369 pound feet via a 2.5 liter four cylinder with a 17.8 kilowatt lithium ion battery and a 68 kilowatt electric motor. Now, rear bias all wheel drive is standard across the board with a 5,000 pound towing capacity for the six cylinder and 35 pound cap for the hybrid. The CX-70 will be incrementally lighter than the larger CX-90 and final specs have yet to be announced, so it might actually be a little bit more efficient. Now, an electric only range of about 30 miles for the PHEV would be a tidy bit of a little upgrade. Would you combine a fuel economy rating of 26 miles per gallon for the six cylinder? Now the CX-70 rides on the same 122.8 inch wheelbase as the CX-90, so passenger space is likely unchanged. It's slightly shorter overall with the difference only coming at the rear overhang, but since it doesn't have to accommodate for a third row seat, the CX-70 has a massive cargo area with extra storage below the floor. And Mazda hasn't announced pricing yet, but it's fair to assume that the CX-70 will be a bit cheaper than the $40,970 for the CX-90 and $51,320 for the CX-90 PHEV. Plan on spending about $38,000 for the base CX-70, rising to around $57,000 with every box ticked. And the 2025 CX-70 will arrive at dealers later this year. So with that said, are you taking the tiny CX-90, the CX-70, and what do you think about the looks? Drop those comments down below. Now, if you guys want to help further support the channel, check the links down in the description. Give the video a thumbs up, and make sure you guys subscribe or click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. And we will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.